King's Edge Hill, grade 11 student Griffin Lilly joining me here to talk about, well, let's talk about the, this, the first half of the season. We're almost at the, at the Christmas break. Tell me about your, your first half. You know, the first half, we uh, didn't have the start we wanted to, uh, but uh, as we, each week passes, you know, we're, we're starting to get better as a team. We're starting to gel more as a team. Tell me about it from a personal perspective. You know, uh, they, they can always count on me to give, give, give them my all in any situation. And, uh, you know, I can, I can be used on the power player, penalty kill, whatever. Versatile, obviously, but uh, when you're at the top of your game and you're having that real good game, describe the player that you think you are in, the, in that Kings lineup. You know, I think uh, my speed and my edge control, uh, speed's a big part of my game. And uh, I play with a high game tempo. You know, I'm always ready to go, win every battle and the puck. Uh, always come up with the puck first. You know, obviously uh, getting better as time passes. You, you're developing. What, what areas uh, do you feel you've made significant strides in? Uh, you know, I feel uh, um, uh, hockey IQ is something everyone has to work on and uh, get my shot off quicker. I feel. And areas you want to continue to work on as, as you go forward into the second half of the season? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, as I said, getting my shot off quicker and, you know, really using my speed as an advantage. Uh, I think of my speed is a big part of my game. And, uh, you know, getting the sh get my shot off. Well, obviously, you're a student athlete uh, here, here at Kings. Uh, maybe you can tell me a little bit about, uh, well, academically, how, how, uh, how, much, how important is it to you? You know, academics is really important for me, to me. Uh, you know, King's Edge Hill is really preparing me for uh, secondary education. And I think, uh, you know, it'll open doors and opportunities down the way. Uh, I think having my, having my academics and, and my sport, you know, will really help in the future. And going forward, I know you're focused on this season, but uh, when we look a little further down the road, what, what hopes, what, what are your goals? You know, my long-term hockey goals are usually having my academics and uh, playing hockey, you know, the sport I love. You know, it'd be great to go to university or college where I can play hockey and uh, have my academics with me. You know, his first half has been good. Uh, last year, Griffin uh, played for Newbridge Academy. Uh, he was a defenseman there, and we brought him here to Kings Edge Hill with me when I came here. And he's kind of transitioned to a forward. And he's done very good. I mean, there's a, a bit of a learning curve going from defense to forward, but the type of guy, uh, person that Griffin is, he's willing to learn and he's willing to show up every day. And he, he's kind of. That transition process has been very good because of his skill asset, his work ethic, and everything. So he's been he's turned into quite a good two-way forward for us. Okay, describe describe the forward, the forward that he is. Uh, well, again, he's a good two-way forward. He's a great skater. He's got a very good uh, skill set. Like I said, he's got good hands, good shot, and uh, you know he's he's tremendous at uh, adapting to what we we throw at him. You know, we throw up different systems. Uh, any any type of different change on the fly, and he's great at uh, adapting to that because he's a good listener and a good hardworking kid. Continuing to develop, you talk about the development process. What what areas do you feel that he needs to get better in as he as he becomes that more complete player? Well, again, it's just that transition, right? He's still kind of moving. It's just, it's just we're not even until this. Well, we're in December now, but we're not even to the first half of the season. So, uh, going from defense your whole life to forward, it is a it's kind of a, a process where you got to learn to you know be more hungry on the puck, Griffin. Can tend to sit back just because of his defensive tendencies. He played defense his whole life, so uh, that's one of the things we're trying to break from. It's just you know you got the speed, you got the you know the tenacity to get in there, use it, and keep going instead of trying to be hesitant on hanging back. But he's he's done. He's gotten better at it or uh, as we've progressed throughout the season. But that's another thing that you know as the second half of the year goes on, we want to see him be more hungry at. It. And finally, what what might his his future look like going forward beyond this year? Again, he's another kid that, uh, you know, anything is possible. He's one of the hardest working kids I've seen off the ice, uh, you know, in the gym consistently, you know, daily on his own and, and stuff like that. So the way he's progressed over the year, uh, you know, it's been fun to watch him transition from last year into this year. So, you know, it's, uh, if he continues to get better, it's again, it's up to him where he wants to end up.